Hello, we're making a study guide for Industrial Revolution. The focus is going to be Adam Smith and Karl Marx philosophies. So, big thing, if you ever see anything about um, Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, you know they wanted a rev revolution led by the working class, a rebellion led by the working class. So, look for that. And what were Marx and Engels reacting to? They were reacting to all the changes that were happening in life based on the Industrial Revolution. And they were talking about the ills of society. Next, um, the economic conditions that sparked Karl Marx to write the Communist Manifesto was basically um, capitalism widening the gap between the rich and the poor. The class struggle, he said. Um, other things, the pro proletariat rebelling, that's Karl Marx. He wanted the proletariat or the working class. And I always remember the word proletariat, the professionals. He wanted them to rebel against the factory owner and the super rich and take over. Now, Charles Dickens, Karl Marx, they were two people who were upset with the large wealth gap in the Industrial Revolution. They both wrote works that called for change and reform. Um, if you're taking a look, remember, this whole chapter's been about the Industrial Revolution, changes in society, okay? Now, Adam Smith, he was another thinker, he was another philosopher, another economist, he was the exact opposite of Karl Marx. He was influenced by the Industrial Revolution, too. And he thought about economic theories. And the economic theory Adam Smith thought about was capitalism. The economic theory Karl Marx thought about was communism. And Karl Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto. So, Karl Marx, he was against laissez-faire economics. Adam Smith was for laissez-faire economics. And laissez-faire economics basically say keep the government out of business, let the law of supply and demand regulate the market, not the government. Capitalism, profit, drives changes. Um, other things... John Locke, this could be a throwback question. What did John Locke do? Well, he was a philosopher. He believed in natural rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Adam Smith, he's known for laissez-faire. He wrote Wealth and Nations. He was a Scottish economist. He believed in capitalism, capitalism, making money and profit. That should guide business decisions. He was against communism. He was against Karl Marx's ideas of socialism and communism. Wealth of Nations. This book, it talks about the law of supply and demand. So basically, if you have a good product, people will demand it. And you'll supply it. You'll make money selling it. So that's the law of supply and demand in the Wealth of Nations with Adam Smith. Who believed that the workers should unite to overthrow the rich? Of course. That's Karl Marx. His ideas of Marxism, communism, socialism. His ideas are outlined in the Communist Manifesto. So, Frederick Engels helped Karl Marx write the Communist Manifesto. They wanted to overthrow capitalism. They wanted the workers to be in control of the factors of production in the factories. All right? So, capitalism is the wealth of nations. Marxism would be the Communist Manifesto. John Locke would be natural rights. Those are some of the people paired with uh, different works they you know help produce, whether it's a book, whether it's a pamphlet, whether it's ideas. Okay. So Industrial Revolution, it did have a lot of inequalities. At first, cities were overcrowded and very dangerous. However, soon after, governments are going to make changes and put out laws and legislation to stop the overcrowding, to keep things, you know, better for the city workers, the city livers, the city dwellers. And that whole urbanization, that giant shift of people moving to the city, it's, it's going to happen. Okay? So 
Karl Marx believed that history was uh, the struggle of classes, the haves versus the have-nots. He believed that the proletariat or the poor or the workers would rise up and overthrow the rich and take what was rightfully theirs. Communist Manifesto, 1848, you got to know it. The Communist Manifesto basically was Karl Marx's ideas on um, economics and socialism. He wanted the workers to be in charge of the factors of production. Um, any, other, any other questions? Remember, class struggles Karl Marx, profit is capitalism and Adam Smith. Adam Smith's book was The Wealth of Nations, and he believed in laissez-faire economics where, you know, the market decides what's getting sold, what's making money, what's profit is the big driving force. Then the opposite of that was Karl Marx, and he believed the government should be deciding and controlling the factors of production, and he believed that people should rise up and rebel, and that was communism, socialism, Marxism. Okay, but guys, see ya. Good luck on your test.